Writing a notebook and learning how to document your team's goals is useful in both FTC and the professional world. That's why I'm making a video series on how to create an award-winning notebook. This video is on engineering. For this video, I'm going to start off with templates and requirements, then move on to the writing process. I will also talk about implementing underlying mathematics, then I'll go over some key points and tips for writing notebook and end with a summary. Everything you write must be in ink, or if you type it, make sure you have a consistent font. You want to create an entry template to make sure that each entry includes the bare necessities. Having these templates are really important because it makes it easy to just copy and paste this template into your notebook and then everything looks the same and consistent. You want to include the date, time, title, attendance, daily goals, and entry summary. Here's an example of our entry. We have at the top what session it is, the date, how long, then we have a little bit of an overview, and then in the white space in the middle, that's where you include all of the meat of your entry. This is one of our entries filled out. On the left where it says tasks right underneath that, they're numbered one, two, and three. And then to the right of that, a short sentence is describing it. And then down below, it's numbered again, and then it describes it in more detail with more pictures. When you're brainstorming, you wanna make sketches, doodles, and diagrams. These are really important for the judges because they get to see everything that happened from the start of the year. You can put these on graph paper or on lined paper, and you can also use pencil for these. You want to write down all of your ideas and document your thought process. The judges want to see everything that happened, and nobody cares if it looks ugly or confusing. It needs to look a little organized, but it's okay if it's a mess. When you're designing, you want to make sure you have more detailed drawings and CAD models. We use Fusion 360, but there's other programs such as SolidWorks. You want to get feedback from experts and engineering students and anyone else you can think of. Our team goes to engineering firms and asks the engineers to write all over our notebook and give us feedback. And we also reach out to our alumni and ask them for feedback. If something doesn't work out, don't erase it. Use a single strike through line or a single X through the drawing. The judges want to see what you have done in the past and how you grew from it. And if you're taking something off the robot, you want to explain why. They want to see how you use the engineering design process and you realize through your testing that it didn't work out and they want to know why. When you're building, you want to take photos and write descriptions of the changes made before each photo. You should take pictures constantly. Your camera roll should be full and you want descriptions of them so that the judges know what they're looking at. Even if it's on the robot for five seconds, you want to take a photo of it because it's part of your engineering design process. You can't rely on just photos. You want captions. You need to describe why, what, and how. When you're testing, you want to find a way to quantify your results. You want to have a yes, no, a 50% success rate, or even 90% success rate. If you're making tweaks, you want to write on your testing sheet what you did between tests to hopefully improve the robot. You want to use your testing sheet during testing and not afterwards. Here's an example of our testing sheet. We have what test it was, what changes, and then a result that appeared. Underlying science and mathematics is often overlooked, but this can set your notebook apart. You want to use algebra, calculus, and physics skills that you learned in school. All of them are really important. Math is the only subject that counts. Here's all of our underlying mathematics put onto a Google spreadsheet. It is showing why our inverse assembly is faster than the traditional assembly. It looks like a mess here, but once you put it into your notebook, it looks a lot better. You can describe what's going on, format it the correct way, and put descriptions under your graphs. Here are some key points and tips. You want to write your entries the day of. You can also use voice memos to record what is going on that day. This way you remember what happens when you go back to write the entry later that night. If you don't want to use a voice memo, you can always just type a note in your phone or just write it down somewhere. You want to take clear photos and provide context with a description of what's going on. This makes it easy for the judges to know what's going on and also a clear photo makes it easy to see. You also want quality over quantity. It may seem like you want 500 pages, but really you just need good entries. You also need to remember your audience. They're judges. They want you to succeed. 
In summary, you always want to use a template or a guide. This makes it consistent and clear what's going on. You want to record every step of the way, even your failures. These are important for the judges to see. You want to explain the whys just as much as the what's. The whys gives the judges even more insight as to what was going on. And you want to use math to justify changes. Most teams don't do it, so your team will be set apart if you're using the math. And remember your goal, to document the journey.